Hello there. Today we've got a pickups video. As usual, we've got a mixed bag, but we've also got a new old system. Yeah, I mentioned it in my last video. I've, I've fallen feet first <laughs> into a new rabbit hole. Um, it's a system I decided I was never going to collect for. Well, when, <laughs> when I started this collection, I decided I wasn't going to collect for the ZX Spectrum and I wasn't going to collect for the Amiga. The ZX Spectrum oh, didn't last long and then it just went crazy but I stuck to my guns never collected for the Amiga really well there is a few Amiga games I can see dotted about there's some in the Bob Wakeland collection there's some up there that have been gifts from from friends uh, but apart from that I've never chased Amiga games um, several reasons one is I can play any Amiga game I want uh, not for emulation I have a hard drive built into me my A600 I'm playing on original hardware, it, it just saves getting uh, floppy disks that don't work, you know, so I don't need the games, but I do. <laughs> so, I decided last week, totally wrong time, I should have decided this six years ago when I had room, I decided last week, I've no room now, that um, I was going to start collecting Amiga games, uh, it's Marcus's fault, if you're watching Marcus, uh, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I decided I was going to start collecting Amiga games. I talked to Marcus about it and he was like, yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it. Uh, it's like an evil monkey on my back. So, <laughs> so I spent hours, it probably looks exactly the same, but I've spent hours shifting stuff up, left, right, down, and I've made a bit of room. I've made enough room for 20 Amiga games. It's not enough room. It's not enough. I've, I've spent hours on the internet and I've managed to get my favourites. We're not looking at the, the top 100 games. We're not looking at the top selling games. These are literally my favourites. Some people might think these are shite. But I can't get down below 30, 35. I've got room for 20. So what I've decided is I've put eBay searches on all the games I've looked at. And the first ones through the door are the ones that go on the shelves. When I run out of room, that's it. Is that going to work? Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? So, yeah. So, we've got Amiga games to show you. We've also got some specky stuff, even though I said there would be no more specky stuff. <laughs> it's specky related. We've got um, some hardware. Never get that. We've got some SNES, some CD32, 3DO. Some PS2 upgrades and a couple of DVDs for those who care. Uh, where should we start? We'll start with the hardware because I'll have to show them and then move them out of the way because they're huge. Uh, what we've got is we've got two, because one's never enough, we've got two PS3s. These weigh a metric ton. These were from uh, a chap at work, Dave. Uh, he's been, <laughs> these have been in his garage for ever, for years. Uh, he's, he's been fetching them in forever. <laughs> uh, but he finally, finally remembered. Uh, my PS2, hard drive's gone. I think hard drive's gone anyway. It will not... With the PS3, when you, when you, I think the Xbox is the same, 360. When you start a new game, it wants to create a save. Uh, and then it goes back to the save every time. The PS3 won't create a save anymore. It just goes. It just shows a little round circle with round, 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 round. So I think the hard drive's gone. Uh, I know you can change them. I think they're just a standard hard drive. But I'm too lazy and stupid. So Dave's fetched me these. I think one's got a massive hard drive full of games and one hasn't. But I don't know which. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna. When I get a minute, I'm gonna pull my PS3 out and replace it with one of these. So I'm gonna put them back over here because I take up all the room. But thank you, Dave. I don't think he watches. <laughs> Who would? But uh, they're much appreciated anyway. Uh, one will go in the spares with my one that's broken that I'll never mend, and the other one will go down here. Yeah, cheers, Dave. What we got next? Specky. Uh, <laughs> there is there's no more tapes. I, I, I am a man of my word. I said there would be no more tapes. Um, but there are some boxes. Uh, a few weeks ago, 
I went through all the tapes. Uh, well, well, I went through all the collection, trying to work out what was, what wasn't fit to stay. Um, I replaced all the small boxes. They're all cracked free now. But I found a lot of my big boxes were smashed. Or stingy as crack fronts. Really sorry state. Uh, so every time I pass a charity shop, I've been diving in to try and find some cassette boxes. You tend to find um, audio books. Audio books are on double cassettes. And they seem, they seem to have lasted better than cassette games. I think that's because kids, we as kids, got the games and didn't look after them whereas uh, audio books adults tend to buy them and they look after the shit better than we did <laughs> yeah anyway so seven there i think hopefully that means i'll be all cracked three uh as i finish the specky collection incidentally i will be doing a specky collection video i'll probably have to split it into bits but yeah that's coming um anyway that's all the boring stuff <laughs> Although I don't find cassette boxes boring. <laughs> what we got next? Uh, first thing we've got, a bit of NES. Uh, I can't remember where I got this from. It's, uh, <laughs> it's Bubble Bobble. Love Bubble Bobble. Bu uh, I love Bubble Bobble. I, I haven't played it on the NES. Um, I think I've got this on everything now. It's one of them games that you just get in, on multiple systems. Uh, let me know, is it any good on the NES? NES, 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 isn't it? Yeah, NES. Why have I said NES? <laughs> I've been out, by the way. I'm half cut. Uh, it was the wife's turn to drive, so I've been out for tea, and now I'm uh, I'm just topping up. <sighs> right, Amiga. Let's get into this. Uh, first one. <laughs> they they so take me back. They weigh a ton. Uh, it's uh, Jeff Crammon's Grand Prix Formula One Simulator. Fully 3D. I bet this runs at about two frames per second now. I spent hours on this back in the day, setting my car up, qualifying. Uh, it's just a black box. <laughs> what we got inside? We've got a thing. Uh, another thing three discs and then a massive manual <laughs> I love these you just don't get this sort of stuff anymore it tells you about every track um, setting the car up yeah I remember spending hours on this and never getting more than three or four laps in before I crash I think it came out on PC as well Correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> so I'm going to go straight back in. Oh, no. Yes. Grand Prix. Put that there. And the Amiga. Next we've got um, Birds of Prey. Now this is another iso isometric. It's another 3D uh, game like Grand Prix, but it's a playing game. Yeah, I think, as I recall, you get to fly pretty much everything. But I think the reason I got this was, it as you can see it there, it's got the uh, Stealth Fighter and the Blackbird. Uh, I, <laughs> I didn't have this back in the day, originally. My mate bought it. Now, it has, it has copy protection on it. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, so at the back, well, I say at the back. It's technical reference, so it's, it's that thick. <laughs> yeah. So these discs aren't right protected, so you can just copy them. But when you start the game, it asks you for, I don't know, say, the, the Grumman. Right? The Grumman. It'll ask you what's its unladen weight. Just random. And you have to type it in. So what I did was all these stats for every single plane, I paid my brother. <laughs> give my brother a fiver to write them all down it was about five pages long <laughs> it took him days and he wrote all these down so i could give him mate his manual back and not have to buy the game um 
apparently piracy is theft. <laughs> yeah, he got paid. Uh, yeah, so I uh, spent a lot of time on this one. I don't remember being very good at it. I was never very good at the flight simulators, but uh, it's, it's just great fun. Uh, it does it's, it's got cracked in the corners. This one, it's going to need a bit of repair work, a bit of toolification. Yeah, I've copyrighted that, by the way. If you're watching, Stu, toolification's my word. If you use it, I will sue you. Um, oh, it's not going to go back on. Yes, it is. Birds of prey. <clears throat> Next, we have um, the greatest. Now, this is a compilation, which might seem odd when you're chasing your favourite games but this is the compilation I had it's Laura the Temper Temptress Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker and Dune now this was the first point and click adventure I ever played uh, I think I bought this at Christmas I spent hours on it Laura the Temptress I finished uh, Whirlwind Snooker um, wasn't very good at it but I'll, it was really good it's a, it's a 3D uh, snooker game and then uh, June June's a bit hard to describe it's like playing the film mixed with a strategy game yeah and a point and click I think that's the best way to describe June yeah so I got hours out of this compilation uh, yeah I'm not getting the manuals out I've got bored of that already it is all complete <coughs> next Populous 2. Um, I love my god simulators. Uh, there we go. It's all complete. Um, incidentally, for those who collect Amiga cardboard, what do you do about the Boeing? I've noticed a few. They're like they're spreading out. Yeah, don't know what I'm going to do about that. Yeah, anyway, Populous 2. It's a god simulator. You basically play um, God. <laughs> And you have to look after your people and kill the the uh, the other gods people yeah that's basically it you can create volcanoes and eruptions and fire and wind and lightning and all sorts of things um i'm actually playing this at the minute i think i'm on level level 200 i am going to get this one out actually because as well as the manual and everything a lot neater handwriting than me this is the chap's original level codes where did he get to he got to level 514 yeah i love stuff like this uh, they will oh no no i missed one he got he got further he got to 613 <laughs> yeah love stuff like this this will definitely stay in the box Great game. I don't think Populous 2 came out on anything else. Did it? I don't think so. Anyway, that's Populous 2. Good. Another compilation. Uh, two more great games. Megalomania and First Samurai. Uh, I bought this. <laughs> I bought this for First Samurai. It looked really interesting on the cover. It's like... Uh, it's like an action platformer where you play a samurai, uh, but you're jumping back and forth. No, you're not jumping back and forth. You're jumping forward through time. You start in uh, like samurai days <laughs> and you end up in the future. Looked brilliant. And I played it and then I tried the second game, which is Megalomania, and fell in love. Megalomania is another god game like Populous, but rather than just being set in a certain time, uh, megalomania you work your way forward uh, through time so you start in stone age and you end up going all the way through to uh, the future yeah uh, i played it for hours and hours i still I, I think i played it last year all the way through uh, it's, it's one of my all-time favorites great game <coughs> i think <laughs> we're running out of room here i think we we'll have to start stacking stuff next we have got frontier elite 2 this weighs, you could, you could beat somebody to death with this box. Uh, <laughs> this is a space, I think everybody knows what Elite is. It's a space trading game, but Frontier took it to the next level. 
Uh, you can land on planets and uh, just, you just basically fly anywhere and do anything. Uh, become a space pirate. Uh, you've got a massive map, which I'm not going to get out, I'll never get back in. And then you've got, what you got? You've got like a, a comic, uh, a book, and then the actual manual. <laughs> yeah, these are great. Uh, yeah, played this one, literally, literally played this one for months and months. It's a... Uh, it's a tad slow now. Yeah, I think it's about six frames per second, but still great fun. Dead that. Next we have an all-time classic on the Amiga. I think this is pretty much the reason I bought the Amiga. Um, it's Lemmings. Uh, I don't have to tell you what Lemmings is. Everybody's played Lemmings. Uh, one of the best, one of the best puzzle games ever. Uh, a little bit of a slip cover and inside you've got manual on the discs um, I love this love this it, it really is one of the greats on the Amiga um, nice condition a bit squashed I, I think I'm gonna have to go through these and straighten them out and build corners back up sequel lemmings 2 ah uh, so excited for this coming out in all honesty it's not as good as the original i think in my opinion i think they give you too much choice uh, it's a weird one this it's got like a it's got like a box inside like a plain box and then in the box what we got in the box discs discs and like a pamphlet i quite like this so i'll have to show you it's like a yeah. Then there you've got manual and other bits and bobs. <clears throat> we'll just leave that like that. <laughs> Not trying to put all that back together. What we got next? Next we've got Stunt Car Racer. I love this game. It's uh, in need of a bit of a tidy up. This I think it's a slip cover, and I think if I uh, I'm not going to take it all to bits because it's a bit weak. I think if I take the cover off, I'll be able to peel that back and re-stick it. And the same with the back. Basically, it's a mashup of a racer and uh, a roller coaster. If you have not played it, another 3D game. Uh, you basically it's one on one, and you have to beat the uh, your opponent to the end of the track. Usually, I think it's three laps. Uh, played this for hours. But it gets really hard really quick. Some of the late levels beyond me. Anyway, that's Stunt Car Racer. Final Amiga game. Uh, I think this came free with one of the others. Uh, it's not something I want. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a, a re-release. Little box. It's TV Sports Football. Now, if a certain person's watching this, uh, I'm fairly sure you'll go, ooh, <laughs> if you're watching, Russ, um, this is not for me. I'm fairly sure if Russ hasn't got it, this is for him. Yeah, uh, in the comments section, mate, I'll put it to one side for you if you're watching. It's in really nice condition, it's all complete. Uh, Russ has a fascination for Americans in tight shorts. Each to their own, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not for me, not for me. So that, but it was a freebie, so that all, that's going on. It's moving on. Anyway, that's it for the Amiga. I don't know if any of this is making sense. What we got next? SNES. SNES. Uh, I saw. I didn't know this was a thing. Uh, who, it might have been Tooty. Tooty showed this, but obviously it'll show on the cardboard. Uh, Lord of the Rings. It's a. Uh, it's an RPG. Now I like RPGs and I like Lord of the Rings, so I had to have this. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what I took off the list to put, put this on, but something got kicked off. Uh, really looking forward to playing this. This might be my next big game. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. Stay. Mega CD32 now. Uh, this is a game I always wanted to play but never did. I remember this on the Amiga. 
came out on the A500 before it came out on the CD32. I don't know if there's any differences. It's a bit of a cardboard thing, this. It's a 3D isometric thing. Yeah. Uh, it just looked really cool. Uh, don't know. Don't know. Can't be shite. Usually, yeah. Next, we've got from 3DO Alone in the Dark. Now, I remember playing this on my mate's very early PC. Paid a billion dollars for this PC building and uh, and this was one of the games he had this and magic carpets now I'm fairly sure Alone in the Dark didn't come out on anything else apart from the PC and the 3DO uh, so I thought it wasn't going to open it <laughs> manual and, and disc um, yeah curious to see what it plays like on the 3DO Probably terrible. I remember this. I remember this looking amazing on the PC and dying, just dying. <laughs> yeah, couldn't work out what to do. Uh, this finishes the 3DO collection for me. I've got everything I want. It is the smallest collection I have, but uh, it's not a big collection anyway. The 3DO, so a full collection. I think it'd only take you 200 nod, uh, but <laughs> I think mine's at about 20. Yeah, the games are either on the PlayStation or are just not interested. Yeah, I have everything I want. So that'll be a collection video in the future. What's left? PlayStation 2 updates. I think I'm done now. I think all the PlayStation Platinums are gone. First we've got Black. Uh, this is first person shooter. Uh, as I recall, can basically destroy everything. Yeah, all the scenery, everything just smashes to bits. Uh, next, we have Crash Nitro Cat. I love, I love Crash. Love Crash Bandicoot uh, Cat games. Crash, Crash Bandicoot Cat. Yeah, one of them. Um, these are great fun. I'd say they're as good as Mario Kart, if not better. And finally, this is a. Uh, I was missing the manual for this. And I finally sourced one. I think I got this off Sean, Retro Games Revived. He gave me this, but it was missing the manual. Uh, I've got one. I didn't notice in the advertisement. Can we put on it? I think that's game, innit? Game or uh, Granger Games, put P's on them, bastards. Yes, yeah, so I've got <laughs> I've got it with a P on the front now, which actually matches the disc. <laughs> so, well, that's spooky. <laughs> Sean's disc came with a P on it, and now the manual comes with a P on it. So I suppose it sort of matches. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can... Does anybody know how to get marker off stuff? Anybody in the comment section? Yeah, it'd be nice to get the marker off. Finally, what we've got left? DVDs for those two people still watching. First one is Dungeons and Dragons. The complete set. Um, I loved these as a kid. Uh, if you want... If you're really into this, if you go on the YouTube, uh, a chap's done the final episode because it just stopped uh, and it's really good. It really sort of makes sense and sort of finalises the series. I'd really recommend if you decide to sit down and watch this, you watch that after. Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I had a thing for the Invisible Girl <sighs> as a kid. I don't know why. I don't know why. Finally. Uh, really happy to get this um, it's Starfleet I used to love this um, I've been watching this for a while there's there's two versions there's a, there's a, a complete set um, where you just get the DVDs or there's this um, this is a collector's edition and I'm, I'm gonna get this out because it's really nice it's um, You get the four discs like that. And then you also get loads of stuff. And we do like stuff. We've got a collector's booklet that tells you about all the characters. Like that. We've got a, a 
I'm a hoosive poster. I can't get out. Look at that. Starfleet. We've got some uh, postcards. Right way up. Right way up. Baddy ship. Chap I can't remember. Main guy who's sad and angry all the time. Ship. And the baddies. And what else we got? We've got a comic booklet. So, oh, this is ace. So it's a comic to go with the, uh, the DVDs. Yes, that's Starfleet. I just love this as a kid. Really looking forward to watching this. <laughs> I get five minutes. Um, I'm just going to put the box there. If you've not watched Starfleet, go on YouTube and put Starfleet uh, theme tune. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> and that's it. Um, as I said, 3DL collection coming up soon. Spectrum collection. I haven't forgot about the Bob Waken collection. I just haven't decided the best way to do it yet. Uh, anything else? No, I don't think so. I think you'll all be tired of my drunken ramblings by now. So, thanks for watching. As ever, comments on any of this shit. I feel so pressed to do so. Um, thanks for watching. Those who did.